Ecologically, wetlands are among the richest of biomes. They contain a diverse community of invertebrates which support a wide variety of birds, many of which nest in the protective cover of wetlands. Herbivores from crustaceans to muskrats consume algae, detritus, and plants. In addition to the rich diversity of wildlife that is supported by wetlands, the ecological and economic value of wetlands is much larger than their geographic extent implies. They provide water storage basins that reduce the intensity of flooding, and they improve water quality by filtering pollutants. In the past, humans have often regarded wetlands as wastelands, sources of mosquitoes, flies, and bad odors, and destroyed many wetlands, mostly to provide land for agriculture and development. Recently, both government and private organizations are attempting to protect remaining wetlands through acquisition, economic incentives, and regulation. The area where a freshwater stream or river merges with the ocean is called an estuary. It is often bordered by extensive coastal wetlands called mudflats and salt marshes. Salinity varies in different parts of estuaries, from nearly that of freshwater to that of the ocean. It also varies on a daily cycle with the rise and fall of the tide. Nutrients carried by the river enrich estuarine waters making estuaries one of the most biologically productive environments on Earth. Salt marsh grasses, algae, and phytoplankton are the major producers in estuaries. This environment also supports a variety of worms, oysters, crabs, and many of the fish species that humans consume. Many marine invertebrates and fishes use estuaries as a breeding ground or migrate through them to freshwater habitats upstream. Estuaries are also crucial feeding areas for many semi-aquatic vertebrates, particularly waterfowl. Although estuaries support a wide variety of extremely valuable commercial species, areas around estuaries are also prime locations for commercial and residential development. In addition, estuaries are unfortunately at the receiving end of pollutants dumped upstream. Very little undisturbed estuary habitat remains, and a large percentage has been totally eliminated by landfills and development, such as 3Com Park in San Francisco. Many states have now, rather belatedly, taken steps to preserve their remaining estuaries. <laughs>